morning everybody it is 7 55 took Tammy out to breakfast had to kill a little time for the Volvo dealer to open up I thought I thought they opened at 8 o'clock but when I got there the sign said 7 so I guess I could have went straight there but anyway took Tammy out to breakfast they had the part they had the part so and it's not aluminum or anything, it's plastic. So it should come out of that transmission housing without too much argument. Guy's over here running a, look like a dish chisel. So yeah. So the day's off to a good start, and I got tonight and tomorrow night off, so I don't go back to work until Wednesday night. Problem is, it's supposed to rain Tuesday night into Wednesday, so we'll see what we can get done. Go home, get the truck started. Oh, I think I'm pulling up on the barn floor so I can crawl underneath of it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. Started the truck up, pulled it up under the garage here, out of the concrete. It's close, but she fits. So here's the sensor right there. And it's one or the other of these bolts. They give you both of them. So I got my sockets, sensor. We're just going to leave the sensor here and the bolts. We're going to crawl under there and see if we can figure out which one it is and if we can get stuff loose. So, here we go. All right. There's the sensor. And it's got a different bolt than either one of the, the ones that they sent. So... I guess I'll get a bigger wrench and we'll see. All right, that little bolt's being the pain, so we're gonna, we're gonna put it to it. But there's no way with me up in there that I got any place to put a camera. Sorry guys. Well, one quick zip with that and the bolt came right out and the top of the sensor fell right off so now can you see that plastic sticking out the bottom there that is the sensor so now we got to try and get that out of there it just pushes down in there just pushes down in there hopefully they put the never sees on it like they're supposed to and I could get a pry bar in there and just slide it right out. It'll happen that way. I'm sure it will. Get a semi. It'll be fun, they say. Yeah. Okay. I got the, the main, the magnet out of the middle. And I'm working on getting some of the plastic housing taken out. Let me show you what, what we got here. You see the bottom of the hole there there's a piece of plastic the liner is still in there so i've got to get that out of there so i was thinking i might try it first find a socket that fits on there and hit it with a hammer and try and drive it down through and then just bust it off as it comes out the bottom like i did the, the bottom part of it or take my jigsaw and get up in there and cut it in a few different places. Cut that plastic and maybe it'll fall out. I think I'll try the socket first just to see if it moves. If not, we'll get the jigsaw out. Well, where's it at? I 
I was able to get that up there and uh, cut a piece out of it. And it actually started coming up on its own. So then I was able to grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it right out of there. So, I think it's clear. Wait a minute, let me, how's it look down in there? I got some garbage to clean up. Run some sandpaper through there, emery cloth scuffy pad or something get her cleaned up so the other one slides in and out nice all right we're making progress all right this is really hard to do one-handed and show you guys hang on so what i've got is a little cleaning brush with a piece of scuffy pad lines tied back up and uh, I think we'll be ready to go well we made her up to the river all right cruise control works Jake brake works it's all good all right made her back to dad's weaving my way back here grain cart sitting back there loaded the combine is actually all right like I was saying before my battery died Grain cart sitting here loaded. Combine's up to the house loaded. Dad finished up out here last night. Which is a bad thing because everything fit on them too. The machines, I was hoping there'd be more than that. But So we're gonna start this up and let it warm up while we go out and make a U-turn and get underneath of it. on the moisture too dry losing money so we'll go down here and make a loop pull back under it heading out always try and do that neighbors got all their bean ground which is going to corn strip tilled I'd like to try that like I said in the past I put extensions on this grain cart so it's got Oh, probably 250 bushel more than it was designed to carry. So I don't like moving it when it's full. So now I gotta watch the mirror and watch the spout and make sure I'm not gonna hit the trailer. 
perfect. We'll start right about in the middle and get most of the weight off of it. And then I can go backwards and forwards. So, first I gotta, I gotta find the bathroom. Oh, nope, that's the women's. Oh, here's the men's room. All right, be right. All right. Whew, I feel better. Okay, so. Engage PTO. Give her a little throttle. Open number one, which would be the chute down there. said I don't want to move it so I parked in the oh I'm in the third back on the trailer so I can get a whole bunch of the beans off before it uh, before I have to move actually probably get close to half of them off especially as dry as they are they'll flow out See them pile up a little bit. I'll back up to the front of the trailer. Then we'll work our way back. Yep, there they are. I know you probably can't see them. So look, the only problem with doing it this way is it'll it'll fill up in a hurry. But we ain't got to fill our clear full because we don't have. We don't have a thousand bushel on wheels. Combine only holds about 100, 150 bushel. So we'll probably have 850 on the trailer by the time it's all said and done. Maybe 900. Had a thousand sixty-seven on that first load. default on this is uh, seventh gear when you go to forward. I'd like to have that thing out or running like that for a couple days. A lot of beans.
like to cut a couple windows in the front of this grain cart, put some plexiglass in there so I can see inside of it. the semi up when I'm done that she's starting to vibrate that means she's getting empty so I'll run the semi up there dad can unload the combine into it and I'll walk back here and get this rig and then we'll take this and the combine over to my house and uh, that auger down because there's beans in it you don't don't clean out completely there'll be a few beans up in there so you uh, drive around and they'll shake down and you don't spill any right here and uh, jump in the truck so we'll see you up there all right Dad. unloading the combine and I'm I'm on the ankle Express back to get a tractor an old case has got a good sound to her case slash Cummins <laughs> Okay, see you in a bit. All right, Tammy brought me back over. Dad's, we'll get this truck emptied and get back to my house. And hopefully he'll be loaded and ready to go.
coach down. Many more to hold. Many. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Two loads down. Many more to go, hopefully. So, uh, going over here, hit the outbound scales. Back to Gibson Burke. Southbound 75, here I come. All right, 530 loaded up again. I know you can't see it, but there was two eagles. Dad said the one swooped down and caught a small rabbit. Drug it over there in the middle of the field, then another one came in. So I walked out there, I got probably 50 yards from them when they took off, but I know you can't see them, but they're, at, they're sitting in that tree over there. But anyway, I'm loaded, tarped. They're big birds too. The one is a real big bird. Must be a female, and the other one's a male. But they were doing some acrobats and stuff out there. It was pretty cool. Of course, I was driving the green cart, dumping on the go when they were doing it, trying to fumble with my phone to get it out to take some pictures, but it didn't work. Anyway, off to the Andersons again. All right, made her back up here to the river. Drove right in. There's one guy under the probe. But look at this stuff. <laughs> There's a couple hundred here. What this is, is guys will haul beans in or corn and they'll come over here to haul fertilizer out. So they come out here and clean their trailers out. Well, these geese are eating all the, all the beans. So, yeah. It's pretty neat to see them all. There's only one problem. You gotta watch where you're walking. All right, well, I hope you can see me. It was a cluster up there. Guy told me to go in and dump. Didn't close the door, so I pulled way up about past the, the chute to not make a mess out the door. So I start dumping, and these dump trailers, when you get to a certain level, the whole thing just starts coming out. Well, right as that happened, they shut everything off and the pit filled up, and I had a pile three foot tall behind the, behind the truck. It was through the axles all the way to the second axle. What a mess. They didn't tell me they shut the pit off. So, anyway, I'm back. Dad's still running. I'm parked next to the grain cart, so we're gonna go get that unloaded again. It's dark, won't be able to see.